firefly in the room. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll have a pretty busy video with a lot of random plenty stuff. And before going into all of that, I just wanna talk about the elephant in the room. Yes, we're filming in my kitchen. Actually, we have whole week of rain and cold and fogginess and darkness. And this is the only room that I have that are at least a little bit light right now. So I'm filming here and it look like a diamond. <laughs> but anyway, let's just ignore this fact and have a little bit of fun. Today I actually have prepared for you a lot of random stuff. First off, I want to share uh, a plant story that I actually found this weekend. I think it was this Sunday morning. I was walking Baloo and we found a huge and I mean huge euphorbia if it would be standing because it was lying at that time. If it would be standing, it would be taller than me. So it was huge. It was simple euphorbia trigona, which is, you know, pretty popular here in Lithuania as a common house plant, especially between grandmas and grandpas. And it was looking pretty cool, if you ask me. I filmed, obviously, everything here is actually okay. Here is a clip from that Sunday, and then we'll jump back to me with a little bit of commentary. Guys, look what we found with Baloo, oh my gosh, this is a really old euphorbia trigona, wow, wow. So you see, it's beautiful plant, I mean, I have no idea how old it is, but hands down, at least a decade, <laughs> so very, very, very spectacular plant. Sad part is that probably somebody left it there and I found it only after a couple days and during the nights we have pretty cold temperatures already and fog which is eating plants, you know, so this euphorbia wasn't looking that great anymore and I did not rescue it, of course, it's, it's enormous. <laughs> I would not be able to bring it back home, I was pretty far away from my home, around two kilometers away, so like an, a mile away from my home, so just imagine me carrying this huge thing. I mean, how I would even carry this thing with spikes and all of that. So I left it be. I actually want to go ahead and check it probably today afternoon if it's still there or not, and I'll give you an update. Maybe, maybe not, but I did not rescue it. I hope somebody did because it was such a beautiful plant with such a nice potential. You could propagate it into like a hundred of babies and stuff like that, but yeah. Kind of cool, kind of sad, but here we are, right? But okay, let's not talk about the sad things. I actually yesterday went to my office and during that time I decided to vlog a little bit because I noticed a couple comments and also some of you even started to write me direct messages asking for more office video vlog styles. I mean, about a year ago, okay, no, about uh, two years ago when there was no quarantine here, uh, I used to film a lot of videos during my lunch breaks. I would go to the plant shops. I would, you know, sneak into the office during the late evenings to repot plants and stuff like that. So I wanted to take you along for a little time together in the office because it was actually such a cold and rainy and busy day. So I could not film a lot, but I think I managed to give you a little spice of that time. So let's go to me from yesterday. Enjoy a little time together in the office. Office, and then we will go into today's, into the present, and into a present. I, why would I say stalker? No, um, the spoiler, not stalker. Let's go to yesterday. The man upstairs is breathing down my neck, and the people waiting, they wait so viciously. So right now I am in my office area and I noticed some of you have been commenting that you missed my videos from my lunch breaks in my office. So let's see what we can come up with. Maybe I'll find some houseplant stores nearby. Let's explore. Things aren't the way that they used to be. Well, things are better and worse. Just the same as ever. It 
it's another rainy and cold day here in Vilnius, so it's not as pleasurable to go somewhere. Since it's cold and rainy, I think I'll go to a shopping mall because I don't want to be in the street when it's so cold, rainy and windy. So let's go see what I'll find there. So nothing special happened, right? But at the same time, sometimes we need those simple cozy days with your co-workers chatting about nonsense and stuff, you know? <laughs> but anywho, today I actually prepared for you a couple, mo couple more plenty stuff. And first off, I want to share a little unboxing. This is unboxing from a fellow country, neighbor country, Latvia here. It's also in Eastern Europe. This is a package from a company called Plenty Boost. And no, this video is not sponsored. I do not get any money, you know, from talking about it. I just received it for free and I just want to share my opinions on it. That's about it. That's how influencers are living these days. You know, they're just saying nothing is sponsored, everything is honest, and I'm one of them. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm in a pretty great mood. So, I actually received a plenty boost box. I haven't unboxed it yet, so let's do it together. I will put you a little bit lower so you can see the box. Ooh, ooh. You can see the box? Okay. So let's get straight into this because I was so excited. It was standing in my home for almost a week right now. So, Ooh, satisfying thing outside the pot. This is actually fun, huh? Dear Svetlana, we're a true fan of your art, your dogs, and your plants. Keep being as amazing as you are. With love, plant a boost team. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I gotta frame this somewhere. I love to keep all of the notes like this because, you know, it makes you appreciate more the stuff you're doing because sometimes it feels like almost like a closed circle, like a routine, you know, whenever I start filming videos, uploading videos and all of that. And whenever I, I am, you know, noticed by new people, new companies, it always feels special. So thank you, Plenty Boost. Is it, is it pronounced Plenty Boost or Plenty Boost? Probably should have asked for that before 
filming this video. <laughs> but in, anyway, let's go straight into it. So here I actually have a pretty cool fertilizer. It is 100% organic and 100% sustainable. You know, I do not show many products on my channel. I am pretty picky about it. And this one actually made me really curious. So let's take a look together, right? First of all, the package. Have you ever seen a fertilizer packed this beautifully? I don't think so. Okay, so I see that we have two bags. Oh, these are pretty large packs if you're asking for a fertilizer, right? So this is granulated soil supplement, garden and home, handful on a pot. So the Plenty Boost actually asked me to mention that you should just put this fertilizer granules on top of your pot and cover them with a little bit of soil so they won't uh, receive direct sunlight and all of that. So just a little tip I remember and I want to say it, you know, beforehand bef because I definitely will forget it, you know. <laughs> but this is actually so cool. The yellow one is like the boost for the spring. So after your plants were, you know, taking a nap during the winter months, it is time for them to wake up and you know the first thing you want to do probably to start fertilizing them and this is like this looks pretty cool honestly i love how there are so many stuff written on this package you know like helpful as heck oh there is even in lithuanian oh i'm really excited to check it out and see how we will work with it so you will see it in more of my videos i think when i will be trying them out because today I have a pretty busy day. It's still my working day. And this one is this one is actually something that I am the most excited about. And this is something very, very new. This is plant fertilizer for autumn. Never heard about it. This is something really, really epic. And I'm actually really excited. This is actually a fertilizer with very low nitrogen level. So instead of uh, like giving signs for your plants to grow and be crazy and laggy because there's not enough sunlight and stuff like that it actually gives signs to your plant to take a little nap it helps your your plant roots to develop at that time you know instead of just leggy and not beautiful foliage and this is actually something that i'm really excited to use so this is also 100 percent sustainable 100 percent organic and wow i'm really excited about this one so used for root crops, bulbs, perennial garden, decorative plants, fruit trees, berry bushes, lawn, and etc. Very, very, very cool. Also pretty, pretty cool stuff that not only it fertilizes your plants, but also the soil your plants are in. So if you have some plants, you know, in still nursery pots with nursery mixes and stuff like that, that will help a bit, I think. So stay tuned. I will obviously try it out. Thank you so much, Plant I Boost team. Plenty boost team, oh my gosh, that's so awkward. But anywho, thank you so much for sending me this. I cannot wait to try it out and talk more about it, about my experiences. I might even make some experiments, so stay tuned for that, guys. And yeah, for those who are curious, you can always go check them out. I will leave a link to their company's website in my description box down below. So go ahead, give them a shout out, say I sent you there and just, you know, check them out because this looks pretty fancy if you ask me. So this is like pretty cool, right? And this made in Eastern Europe, which is even more cool. Is it that even more cool? I think this is really cool. But probably just because I'm myself, I'm from Eastern Europe. <laughs> but anyway, since we have, oh my gosh, why I'm so shiny. But anyway, since we have the fun part out of the way today, we will do not so much fun part. Right now, I actually will want to chop my philodendron melanochrysum. You heard it right. I want to chop it in pieces because it's it's working on my nerves, to be honest. So we'll jump into it now and later we will go ahead to treat my plants from pests. Yeah, they're still here. <laughs> they're still here. Trips, mealybugs, you name it. We still have them. We still grow them together with my plants. And today I think it's time to send them away. So. I will be treating my anthuriums, my new beautiful gorgeous morantas and stuff like that. So stay tuned, I will show you how I'll be doing that. But right now, let's probably go ahead and cut this philodendron. Let me show it first. All right, so here is my philodendron melanochrysum. It's not looking great. It actually have been uh, dealing with strips for at least three months right now. 
and I keep on repotting them, changing the soil, spraying it with neem oil, for example. And then now neem oil and drips are like not working together. But anyway, I was using various different pest, <laughs> anti-pest stuff and it's just not working. So you know what? I thought let's just go ahead, cut it up into little tiny cuttings, one leaf slash note cuttings and start over, isolate it from all of my other plants and just see maybe that will help. And after all, it's just not looking great right now. It's just so leggy, so small leafed and it just some of the leaves from the medicine slash treatments I used before are looking pretty sad. So I wanna start over and plus, after doing so, I will have so much more bushy plant instead of just one, you know, like lean plant. So we are cutting it in pieces today. I already prepared a bag filled with moist sphagnum moss. I just had sphagnum moss on hand, so I'm going with sphagnum moss. And of course, oh my gosh, why I'm so shiny. And of course, uh, disinfected. I always forget how they're called. Pruners? Pruners? I think these are pruners. I need to put a name on each thing to remember. <laughs> let me untie this little ribbon I have over here and let's go straight into the business. Okay, since the very first, I mean the newest leaf is not looking the greatest, but the other leaf is even worse. I want to make this cutting like a two note cutting and get rid of that sad looking leaf immediately. So let's start with that. Of course, I want to take as long bottom part of this cutting as possible. Yes, yes, okay. So I'm cutting this leaf off. It's looking sad and like, yeah. And we have cutting number one. Right now, I won't be putting them into the sphagnum moss directly. I will leave them on my windowsill for about an hour, maybe a couple more. Just you know to callous a little bit and then I will put them into the sphagnum moss. I'm not sure if many people are doing it in that way, but that's what I have been doing for a couple years now and it just works for me. So that's what I'm doing. Can you see? You still can see a little bit. Okay, so I'm cutting another one. What is the Okay, and I see a dead mealybug. Okay, thank God it's at least dead. Let's put you... Blah. Disgusting! This is so disgusting. Okay. Cutting number two. Not looking great. I'm aware of that. One more. Bam. Cutting number three. Pretty simple. I mean, I need to do it such a long time ago and finally when I can do it and I mean mentally I am prepared to do it, it feels so, so good actually. It feels like a beginning of something new, right? Okay, another one, fourth. I think let's cut one more. Bam. And the fifth. The fifth actually have the most decent aerial roots. So this will be fun to propagate. Bam. Don't worry, that's not a mealybug, that's, I, I'm not even sure what that is, but it's just not, not scratching off. But yeah, I checked this plant before putting, I will check every single cutting before putting them into this Ziploc bag with sphagnum moss because, you know, that would be like a perfect condition for trips, just growing inside with other plants, snacking on them and being pretty warm and, you know, moist. <laughs> so I will do that and this is how the mama plant is looking right now. It has three leaves. All of these leaves actually are not looking great, but you know what? It, let's just start over. It will be so much better later on. I actually even think maybe I should cut off these leaves since they are started to yellow. You know what? Yes, I'm gonna do it. Bam, bam. Gone. Gone. Okay. So we are done with melanocrysum. This is where we're starting off again. So I will let you know how that goes later on, of course. I will give you all of the updates as I usually do. And I also have five beautiful cuttings. Oop. To maybe not even, 
to maybe not only to propagate but also maybe use them in a treats and stuff like that so stay tuned for that video as well so once again these will go into the sphagnum moss and under my grow light yes i'm actually i'm bringing my grow lights back into the forest because it's just no buena here it's so dark guys it's so dark you have no idea but anyway since we are done with this portion right now let's go to the yucky portion and mealy bugs and trips and i will take you to my bathroom because that's where all of these plants are standing right now the worst thing is that i have a huge monster delicioso that is also infested with trips and i'm not sure if i will be able to take the pot and bring it to the bathroom because it's huge it's terracotta and it's watered a couple days ago so we'll see about that one but all other plants you will see in a moment so let's go to my bathroom all right so sorry if you will hear any kind of echo right now i am in my bathroom and i will be using this treatment from trips slash uh, mealy bugs as you can tell i have a pretty bunch of plants no i did not take the huge monster i think i will do it off camera but all of these are actually infested all of the leafy plants have trips these both cacti this fairy castle cactus and this gymnocolysium actually has like lots of mealy bugs look at it look how infested that is yes i saw it maybe three weeks ago maybe even a month ago and yes i left it be so today i want to fix my mistakes i feel mentally a little bit better so i think it's time to go ahead and fix my mistakes you know and work on all of that so have simple spray bottle bam i will add that okay i'm actually am using a little bit bigger dose than i am supposed to but just because i'm so tired of all of these bugs especially right now when we're closing all of our windows like 23 hours out of 24 because it's really cold outside you know i just want to just get rid of them and forget about them so let me fill it up with water all right so i filled this spray bottle with water and right now i want to go through every single leaf on every single plant and obviously every single cactus not only leaves you get the idea so let's go ahead spray them all and keep fingers crossed that soon the situation will be so much better because as for now it just it's out of hands Oh, no puppies allowed. Nope, nope. Leaving? Nope, nope. So I'm spraying not only the plant, but I'm also trying to take out most of the dead parts like so, because in all of those crevices, more bugs can be hiding. So I just want to avoid that. And also I'm spraying the top layer of the soil. So let's put it out of the way. So that was my philodendron verrucosum, as you can tell. The newest leaf doesn't look that hot. It looks actually a lot of sad. This is my Anturium clarinervium. It actually had maybe five leaves. Right now we are left with one. Plus he just grew a little tiny baby. So it's like a beautiful sign. But at the same time I am aware that he is still infested by trips. Because I think yesterday I saw one on this very small leaf. So let's give it another nice soak okay gymnocolysium bam so this is my new syngonium that already got the box which is sad I'm actually am using a pretty warm water for all of that treatment not you know simple like room temperature water but it's a little bit hotter not very much but a little bit I don't know the scale I could tell you you know but I'm just making sure to go into all of these leaves let me know if it's therapeutic for you to listen to all of that spraying noise because sometimes I feel like it's S for me. Bam. Then we have this fairy castle cactus that is actually infested by mealy bugs, which is sad. It was such a nice grower this summer. 
So let's let's help this guy out, right? Bam. This is my new beautiful prayer plant slash moranta. This is actually called cat's mustache. Obviously not scientific name. But a very beautiful plant that I'm so sad that it's struggling with trips because I just got it a couple weeks ago. And we're already on a struggle train. Not only I am fighting the trips, I'm also trying to find perfect conditions for it. And as you can tell, it's not working out yet. <laughs> God dang it. Hopefully soon I'll not, I will be able to give you so much nicer updates, guys. Because as for now, that flippin' sucks. Here's another Miranda. This one is actually struggling as well. I mean, look at this setting. All summer long, it was so happy. Ah, I did not took the pruner, so I will use my small scissors I have over here and cut off all of those dead leaves. I mean, these yellow ones are also goners, so there's no point of keeping them, treating them, you know, leaving more space for all of those bugs to crawl. So I want to take care of that real quick. And oh my gosh, you guys, I have been watching some news on Hurricane Ian. Uh, I am so sorry for all of the people who need to go through this scary thing. This is actually so, so scary. Only yesterday here in Vilnius we had really strong storm. No lightings, just really strong and heavy rain and lots and lots of wind. Which was, you know, just the trees uh, were falling all around Lithuania. It was really spooky. But I, I understand that this is like not even close to the hurricane. So just want to say I hope everyone is healthy and fine. <sighs> That's spooky. That's really spooky, guys. And lastly, I have this gorgeous Centurion that is also on a struggle bus and it's been for whole summer long. These two leaves are goners as you can tell as you can tell, right? Completely yellow. Good thing is that it's keep on pushing out new leaves for me, so it's not that heartbreaking. But it still is. Oh. Okay, let's take this aside. Two leaves gone. Okay. Let's treat the ones that we have left. Okay. Okay. Oh These are really looking bad. Okay, so I will leave them as it is right now, and I think after maybe five hours so today afternoon I will spray them once again for the double trouble you know and that's about it about these guys so I'll let you know more later on the spooky part is that this one is really going deep into the plant as you can tell from this leaf on the centurium I'm actually not sure if it will stay on this plant but you know what I don't have any more options honestly so far so Hopefully that will work. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I mean, I put a lot of effort into these videos, guys. Please trust me right now. The work stuff is really stressful and all of that. And this is like my happy place where I just get, you know, to share my passion and chat with you all and just, you know, I don't know. It's like a therapy for me, you know? So it's, it's really... It's really important for me that you enjoy these videos and feel the same way about them because you now it just feels like this should be like a two-way experience, you know? <laughs> but anywho, before leaving you, of course, let me teach you another language lesson. And uh, okay, since I was in a shopping mall, let me just teach you how to say a shop in Lithuanian and in Russian. If you want to say shop in Lithuanian, you need to say Pordotuve. Once again, Pordotuve. And if you want to see shop in Russian, you need to say Magazin. Once again, Magazin. Oh, I actually remember one in Polish as well. So if you want to say shop in Polish, you need to say Sklep. 
once again, sklep. Fun fact, sklep in Russian is a, a how it's, oh my gosh, I don't remember how it's called in English, but it's like the lower room in your, you know, house where you do not live, but you just keep random stuff like pickled uh, gherkins <laughs> and um, stuff you do not use that often. I hope you understand what I'm saying. I mean, I probably will leave it on the screen, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you did. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Guys, will you flip and stop one day? Never.